We're here in Jeremiah chapter 22, and it's the ongoing, well, judgment of the Lord against Judah. They're out of control, it seems, in the way they treat people and the way things are being handled by the kings and the leaders. So listen to what God says to Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, execute judgment and righteousness and deliver the plunder out of the hand of the oppressor. Do no wrong and do no violence to the stranger, the fatherless or the widow, nor shed innocent blood in this place. They are doing all kinds of atrocities to the fatherless, to the innocent. And so God is sending Jeremiah to speak again to the people of Israel, especially those who are ruling over Judah, to get their act together. In fact, he goes as far to tell them this in verse 19. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, they shall not lament for him, saying, Alas, my brother, or alas, my sister, they shall not lament or, or mourn or grieve for him when he's gone. He shall be buried with the burial of a donkey. You go, buried with the burial of a donkey? What in the world is that? Well, here's what it's saying. A donkey was never buried. A donkey was dragged out of the city gates, left somewhere out in the, in the wilderness to be eaten by vultures or animals, whatever. What he's saying is, Judah has gone so far afield that those leaders, Jehoiakim and uh, this, this, this son of Josiah, has become so evil that God says, I'm just not even going to bury him. I'm going to drag him out like a donkey and let his corpse be eaten by vultures and animals. The Lord continues to speak into the life of leadership of this nation as they become so evil, so self-centered, and so abusive that he tells them again and again and again, I'm going to deal with you if you don't repent. Jeremiah, full of this kind of language, and full of this kind of response that people are just unwilling to hear the voice of the Lord. A reminder to us to listen and do those things that are right. I know for myself, I don't want to be buried like a donkey. Mm-hmm.